Hello, hi, welcome to our channel Tech Talk. This is our first video. Let me tell a brief about our channel Tech Talk. We'll talk everything related to the technology, the interview processes, the coding, and the courses, and whatever is going on in technology recently. Basically, I want to help people to crack big company interviews. So here goes our first video. It is about interview process and preparation. So I'll be covering the interview process, the general interview tips for companies like Microsoft, Amazon. To introduce a brief about me, I'm currently working at Oracle Cloud and I have previously worked at Microsoft for three years. So um, this is all about me and I recently cleared Amazon interview as well. And I gave a lot of other interviews as well. So I thought it would be helpful to discuss all my interview preparation process tips with all of you. So let's start with it. So the first and foremost question that come to our mind when we want to apply um, to big companies or we want to get the call from big companies, we just think about how do we do that? How do we get a call from big companies? Yes, it's always true that this question comes, but believe this, that if you're looking to work in some big company, then the company is also looking for you. So let me share some tips for this. So first and the foremost method will be getting a referral. So if you know someone in those companies uh, who work in those companies or you know someone in LinkedIn or you even don't know, you can ask, you can always ask for referral and you can even put in the comments like I even have a lot of people uh, known working in a uh, lot of big companies like I have a circle. So you can even comment on this video and I can help you getting a referral. So another way is uh, putting your resume directly on the career website. I will put in the description for all the uh, career website like I know um, and you can directly search in the Google as well. So you can directly put resume in the career website or if someone like some of your friend has got a call from HR of some company or has some email ID of some HR of your company, it's, it's no harm calling them or uh, emailing them directly. So this was about how to get a call and now let's talk about the actual rounds that happen at interview and how mm, all the interview processes are quite similar and uh, what is like minor differences between the process uh, say at Amazon or Microsoft or Oracle Cloud and uh, what are the differences. So let's talk about it. So, uh, so irrespective of any company you apply for, a coding round is a must. Now for Microsoft and Amazon, there is always an online coding round that happens before actual on-site interview. So, so for Microsoft, I remember it was uh, three questions in one and a half hour. They'll give you three questions and even if you attempt two out of it, it's, it's enough. Uh, they call you and it's always on merit that, okay, say like they have, uh, like every round makes a difference at the end. So if they have five people at the end to be selected and they will, they will definitely look at the online coding round results as well and in amazon what happens that uh, you have two options uh, you can either choose for uh, a phone interview a telephonic interview or an online coding round i went for online coding round it's it's again a 60 hour uh, like 60 minute uh, thing and two question was uh, asked they were like straight away questions and I passed all the test cases in both the questions. Even if you don't pass, uh, I have generally heard from my friends that you quite get a call for it. And in uh, telephonic interview, if you choose telephonic interview over this online coding round, then they will ask you some simple logic of trees, the basic questions that are already there on Geeks. So that will be there. And in Oracle Cloud that I recently gave, uh, there was no online coding round, but there is definitely a screening round that happens and uh, it's, it's a compulsory screening round and that will be also a basic uh, coding round only. Uh, and they just talk about the projects and your experiences in that round. So, so yes, uh, now um, next is there will be two coding rounds in every in every all of these three it's it's a common pattern and uh, so so one one you can say like in microsoft it was one was basic coding round and another was advanced coding round in amazon one was high level 
like coding round like uh, simple data structures and another was low level coding round uh, related to object oriented programming like parking lot and a lot of other things and i will say uh, the interview experience the interview pattern for amazon and oracle cloud was mostly the same so the two coding rounds that happened at oracle cloud was also uh this only uh low level coding the sound is designing an elevator or a game or something like this and plus a uh, ds round so so yes these are the two coding rounds that happens at uh, three different companies that i'm talking about and now the question comes is like how do we prepare and what is the difficulty level so difficulty level will be like mid to high level they they won't be very basic questions and they will always focus on things like complexity uh they will ask you to optimize your solutions they will ask you to to give different ways and uh yes they will not directly give a question like okay do this dfs they will ask you like you, you will have to derive that you will be using dfs in this question it's just an example so uh, any question won't be directly asked like this even if it is a try or anything you you have to you have to go to that so so that is advanced coding and plus there can be a basic coding questions like amazon ask trees a lot uh, there can be a dp question and anything and preparation there are lot of lot of uh, uh, websites uh, you can follow interview bit lead code geeks for geeks any of these three you can practice uh, top few questions at lead code now uh, the next thing is design round yes this is uh, one thing that happens in all the three companies that i'm talking about uh, microsoft amazon or oracle so yes this design round is so it's it's mostly system design round and they test your distributed system skills and uh, like they will talk about different scenarios and here it's like uh depends on what role you are taking in for so if you are taking for sd1 role there will be like basic questions of lr you cache or maybe maybe a simple whatsapp chat chat messenger design but if you uh giving interview for sd2 or a senior role they will expect you to be more precise in design and again there are a lot of different resources that are available uh, uh you can always start with interview bit there is a system design section in interview bit that uh, helps you understand a lot of concept and the basic thing will be always uh, getting a hang on of what is distributed system how it works uh, what is master slave architecture how you back up how the networking works uh, and and lot of these concepts and how a cache works so so you have you should understand the basic and you can always apply it at any question like at any question that is being asked in the interview so this is all about the design round but uh, the important thing will be yeah brushing up your concepts that i gave uh, like examples and another one will be your approach how you approach them so approaching will be always uh, giving a high level approach of high level design of all the components like okay say uh, this is a load balancer and these are the servers and everything you just give a give a high level approach and then uh, it will be depending like it depends on interviewer that uh, he wants to drill down in what different component he wants you to drill down in the networking side or the storage side or the backup side or what side he wants you to drill down on so so it's 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 very important how you go ahead in this interview so yes uh, there's another round that is bar is around and uh, this round happened uh, for me only in the amazon and oracle cloud and it did not happen in microsoft so this is basically uh, your team the team uh, that you are being hired for an interview like does not take that interview this is being taken by someone else like who who checks your fitness in that team uh, in amazon there are a lot of leadership principles so if you if you google and even i give that link uh, in the description box that there are a lot of different leadership principles that are being asked for example uh, were there any situation when you went against the team and you worked uh, worked something good out of it or was there a time when you missed deadline and you have to give a lot of different scenarios for it and there will be a lot of different questions your projects a technical challenging problem you solved 
and all these things will be asked in this pari sir round so and they consider it as, as a very very important round because they test that uh, you are fit for this position or not so so this round is very very important round uh, uh, you can always take examples of what you have done you can always take examples of uh your your challenge and how you faced it you can always think about them prior and if you have done that you can always present them nicely so this will help you in presenting in this bar is around uh, pretty much easier way uh, there's always a hm round that is hiring manager round at the end um, there's always a, a project discussion now the question comes in uh, to what level the projects are being discussed and uh, generally my experience says that the projects that are more relevant to the profile will be always digged in they'll be always discussed in more detail and uh, mainly the manager and like every round will have that a project discussion a brief project discussion but mainly the manager if you if you reach hm round at the end uh, that is the fourth round in microsoft or fifth round in these companies amazon and oracle so yeah the manager will be very much interested in what you have worked earlier and uh, Yes, what type of work you have? It's it's not just what type of work. It's about uh, how you how you have tackled that work, and what uh, what is the complexity level of the work. And in all the three companies that I have worked, there's like uh, these have on call as well. So so they will be interested uh, to know about uh, have you been on call and do you have that experience, or uh, maybe do you have experience working with US people? Are you flexible with time? and all these things they're all interested for all these things so yes so yeah i've already talked about the resources all these three resources are very very helpful i have used all the three resources for my preparation um, like geeks for geeks lead code interview bit all of these three uh, whichever you feel comfortable with uh, interview bit has a timer lead code does not have a timer so sometimes i felt like okay lead code is easier for me because it gives me time to think about it but when you want to prepare for real interview preparation so interview bit helps there because it has a timer for all the problems geeks for geeks is like you can always keep it in a phone as well and you can always go through any of the code you can always think of logic and see through all the different um, complexity levels of the problem and the solution so so this is about the resources and uh, yes now uh, let's talk about the takeaways i talked about all the five rounds or the four rounds that happens at all these companies and uh, yes i'll be talking mo in more detail about all the questions that are asked in these companies uh, how i approach them in my next videos that i'll be uploading to this channel uh i will say many people approach these questions many people even solve them but not all of them are selected so so uh, and i will also share my negative interviews like negative interviews in the sense that i know what i did uh, like what was not right in that interview what went wrong and uh, for these companies that i was selected what went real right and uh, what type of feedback i received so i'll be talking about all of these things in detail and i'll be happy to know that if if you have any questions if you have if you want me to talk about any particular thing then please do comment uh, you're welcome to comment on this video uh, all the very best for all the interviews that you take and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and spread this channel out i'll be posting a lot of things uh, on this channel and uh, you're welcome to comment on this channel about whatever you want to share or you want to add on thank you everyone for your valuable time see you in next video